Welcome to a game called Aqua Creep. Now, the reason that we're playing this game is because the game I had initially wanted to play and record, it wasn't working with me. So therefore, I had to hurry up and do a quick thought because it's Saturday and most likely you're going to see this video tonight instead of, you know, today. I did play this game before, I'm not going to lie to you, but I never got the chance to beat the game because I am terrible with detective skills. So I'm going to need y'all to like keep track with what, the, what is going on. I'm terrible with words, I realize that. I'm going to explain while we're in it. So until then, let's go ahead and bam because it's gonna start immediately. See, look, that's us right there. That's your boy. And I gotta swim over here. It's all 3D-ish and stuff. Woo! This thing is super loud in my freaking ear. My God, breathing all extra hard and stuff. Like our lungs really need air that desperately. My God. Also, deep ocean. Y'all know how I feel about that. That's a no-go, I can't do it. It's not even the fact that it's underwater. It's the fact that the water is so dark, you don't know what is hiding in it. It can be staring at you, and that will creep me out the most. It's not even the fact that it's a creature. It's the fact that I don't know what it is, but it's staring at me. I'm not looking at any of these freaking credits because I'm too busy trying to talk about how I don't like the ocean that much. I could skip the opening, but I was like, hey, I want to, you know, got to enjoy the game. You know, let it saute. You know, you can't just jump into a game. You got to saute, okay? Look at me. Now, don't look at me because I'm not weird. Objective, change from wetsuit. Okay, now let me explain to y'all how this game works. Basically, it's one of those Among Us games before Among Us was even Among Us, right? But it's Among Us. Like, <laughs> there is this alien that, like, kill a person and then take their body and try to blend in to kill more people. And we have to figure out who is that person. Like, who is that alien that done walked around here killing people before everybody dies? Now, the goal is to save as many people as you can, including ourselves. If we can't save nobody, I mean, we try. We can't, we can't do that much. So right now, we got to find the freaking, wait, dive storage? We got to find a place that have those things so we can change out of this wetsuit. Because, you know, we looking like Ben 10 right now. Ah, you hear this? It's the Scoo Scoo Scott Scoo. Oh, wait, change out of the suit. There we go. That's all I needed right there. Boom, your boy's Gucci. So again, remember, we got to keep track of everything. We got to also, like, write down details. Not really, but, you know, mentally. And we got to make sure that everybody that has the same attitude is the same person because if they're an alien and they change up you, you will be able to see the difference i think look at your boy i'm dressed all you know kind of normalish but i'm pretty sure i can't dress like this on a summer day if i dress like this on a summer day all the chocolate in my pocket is gonna melt and i'm gonna throw it at somebody and try to beat them because i know for a fact they're not gonna like the fact that i throw chocolate at them especially if they have a kid Ooh, that child gonna get him I'm not gonna lie to you pushing over the stroller i don't care i'm a menace where the rest of the party crew huh party crew where are you Y'all, laboratory? Y'all in here? Y'all chilling without me? That what's going on? Hey, girl, why you ain't change out of your wetsuit? Why you still wearing it? You tripping. Isabel, everything cool? I suppose. The storm is most inconvenient. The timing couldn't be worse. We were making excellent headway on the project, and now we have to put it all on hold to prep the facility before it hits. Oh, <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, it's been a while. I'm so sorry to hear that anything I can do to help speed things up, what are you working on? Might be good to break away from it for a while. I hardly ever, you know what? It's, wait, hold on. The project will still be there after the storm. No need to worry yourself over it. You know, this is actually correct. Don't calm down, okay, Isabel? It's less to do with the loss of time and more to do about power. If we lose electricity during the storm, then the system supporting the specimens would crash, putting the entire project in jeopardy. Look. I don't mean to brush you off or anything, but I need to focus on getting some things in order. I'll speak to you later, okay? You had to be rude about it. Damn, I'm sorry. I had to try to help you calm your ease, but you know what? Fuck you, Isabel. I hope you stress hard. I hope that every time you stress, you lose a strain of hair. I hope that every time you stress, that strain of hair drops and you look more and more like me. I'm all up in your ear because I know I can say these things. You won't do anything about it because you're nothing but a bitch. Your name's Steve. What's up, Steve? Now you're also wearing your wetsuit. Why nobody listen? Hey, Steve, what's a good word? Not a whole lot, but no news is good news, right? Heck of a storm brewing out there, ain't it? Let me tell you, Steve, your hairline is pushed to hell back. Somebody done grabbed your hairline and said, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. But anyways, uh, back in Florida, we got used to the weather like this. Used to think, you know what, I, I gotta be like, anything I can do to help, you know? Nothing here for you to do. Most of the essential equipment is locked away for safety. There's some minor procedures here in the lab, but... It's nothing we can't handle on our own. Thanks, though. Should be a pretty heavy storm. The radar was showing a lot of red. We'll be fine, though. The Institute keeps our preparations pretty thoroughly stocked. Cool, cool, cool. You know what, Steve? So far, I think I like you, all right? Me and you seem to be cool. That bitch over there, though, let me tell you. I'm not trying to have that. You know what? 
I'm just gonna go back. Ah, screw it. I don't care for her anymore. I just started my adventures and I'm already second guessing my own freaking options. I, I, I need to calm down. I gotta relax. Crew quarantine or crew quarters. Oh God, I can't read either. Hey girl, you looking kind of, you looking kind of thicky. I'm not gonna lie to you. Hey. What's up, jerk? There you are. I was worried I wasn't going to meet my asshole quota for today. Wow. Have fun playing Aquaman this morning. Wow. Well, you know, all jokes aside, did you need my help with anything? Yeah, it was okay. Need a new octopus. Think my current rig is cracked. I need to flirt with you because you kind of, kind of, mm. Not as much fun as when I played Hollow Man in the shower the other day. You forgot to wash behind your ears, by the way. Mwah. Oh, easy with that Hollow Man reference. It's an antique. Really showing your age with that one, buddy. Although it doesn't shock me to find out you know all about a movie starring an invisible rapist. Hey, by the way, you heard the crew is meeting up in the rec room for the storm, right? I'll be the one getting drunk off my ass, so come have a beer with me later, okay? Oh, you best believe. And also, I don't like the little comment with the little rapist thing, but you best believe I'll be there. Hey, save a drink for me, right? I don't want beer, though. I want ginger ale. I'm that type of person. Hey, you call me a loser? I don't care. I will push you over and just embarrass you in front of everybody at the party. But instead of, instead of having all that happen, how about you wait for me, baby girl? Yeah. You know what you're doing. Looking all thicky and stuff. Look at this back here. Oh, my God. I bet you got a beat before you freaking back up, huh? Yeah, you do. Don't lie to me. I know. <laughs> I know. I bet your back hurt carrying all that, huh? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm gonna be back. You know what? I'm gonna meet you there. Mwah. Is this where the party is? I'm, I'm looking for the break room, but this says recreation room. I don't... Howdy, Chuckles. Uh. Howdy yourself. Looks like we're in for a bit of a colorful weather, huh? You stuck for the party tonight? Sure, but can you tell me where that is? I, I kind of forgot. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. To be flirting with Rebecca when she was trying to tell me about it, I probably should have paid attention. A bit of a shit weather if I haven't missed my guess. Uh, I was actually wondering if you needed help with any of the prep for that. You know what? Yeah. What? The party? Or the storm? Because either way, we were all set here. I'd say go pick up some ice if the nearest landmass wasn't 30 nautical miles inland. I think we'll manage to. But yeah, this part is gonna be rad, man. Everyone I've talked about this is pretty amped. Isabel seemed a little bummed, but I guess that's just because she'd rather spend the night with her sea snails. Hey, more alcohol for us, right? Yeah, man, more alcohol for us. <laughs> We're gonna get so wasted. Hey, don't come by, Rebecca. She's mine, okay? I don't care about the relationship that me, you, or her have. All three of us can be cool buddies, but you stay away from her. Hey, another Ben 10. How's it going? Hey, man, how's it looking? Oh, hey, D. Damn! You're back from the dive already? Guess you heard we're in for some rain, huh? Oh, your voice was shaking my insides. Why is it so damn deep? Uh, yeah, a little birdie told me. Anything I can do to help batten down the hatches? No, we're straight as far as all that goes. Forecast says the main sail should be over us in about an hour or so. Guess we'll find out how built to last this place is. Your voice is so damn deep that even the background music can cover it, but it still has some foundation to it. It was such deep level. You know what? You need to work on that. Go in the mirror, look at yourself, and, and work on that. My God, you need to watch some Disney movies so you can brighten up your voice. Anyways, I guess I'm cool around here. The party haven't started yet. Maybe I can go back to Rebecca's and uh, see if I can sleep in her bed. And you know, if she don't have anywhere else to sleep, Rebecca can come and just sleep with me. I don't have no problem with it. Nothing's going to be bad. Nothing wrong going to happen. It's plus. I mean, it's Rebecca. Rebecca, baby girl, come follow me into this bedroom. Listen, nothing weird would happen, okay? I'm comfortable with you. And you're comfortable with me. I think we should both go to sleep peacefully until the party began. Don't you believe that? I believe that. So I'm going to meet you in the bedroom. And I'm going to meet you halfway there. Okay? What kind of poster is these? Don't know. Not questioning it. But just know that you're still invited. Huh? That was a scream? Rebecca! Investigate scream. Rebecca, I told that blonde-headed, beautiful, thick bastard that she's supposed to come in the bedroom with me. And it's nighttime, and it's snowing. Oh, you suchi cooch. I should have went to the party. I knew I should have, but I did not want to. Oh, the party's still going. Hey. Hey, party crew. What's happening? Where's Isabella? I meant Rebecca. It, Rebecca's what I meant. Hey, who are you? Hey, Rebecca, you looking thicky in them hey, Rebecca, clothes. I have to ask you something. Oh, hey. What's up? Hey. Uh, wait, hold on, wait. If you're here, hey, I hope, wait. I was thinking I might have heard someone scream a little earlier. You didn't hear anything like that, did you? A scream? Not really. 
I mean, the music is pretty loud. I can barely hear you right now. Come on, what are you waiting for? Grab a drink and join the fun. Rebecca, I would love nothing more but to grab a drink, especially you, because you're just a tall glass of um, my na na. But anyways, there's a scream I heard, and I'm not tripping, and I refuse to be the first one to die. We got to investigate, or at least you got to stay out of harm's way. Don't want nothing happening to that cake back there, you know? Don't want to come back in that smash. So anyways, I got to hurry up and go and look around. You, you're standing weird, but yet again, everybody's standing like that. Hey, let me ask you something. You didn't happen to hear someone scream a bit earlier, did you? Scream? Where did you hear a scream? Well, I'm not entirely sure if it was a scream. I was asleep when I thought I heard it, but it kind of sounded like it came from towards the equipment storage. Okay, listen close, man. I need to talk to you, but not here. Meet me in the security room. Don't tell anyone, and come alone. You got me? Trevor, you're kind of freaking me out a little. What's wrong? What are you... Shh. Not here. You walk out first and head over to the security room. I'll meet you there. Alright, so security room is where I can meet Trevor, and then equipment room is where we heard the scream. Rebecca, baby girl, I will be right back, okay? Listen, don't tell anybody, but me and Trevor finna talk in the, like, security room. You can come along if you want to, but I think you should wait until Trevor leaves. Then you can come along so we can have security room to ourselves, so I can see what you taste like. Now, I feel like the security room will be a smarter place to go, considering that it have cameras, and I can look into the equipment room, maybe. So, I think I should go there, but I don't know where the security room is because the sign says everything but that type of word. I just realized I said that it was snowing, but that's clearly rain. You can hear it and everything. I'm pretty sure that's clearly rain, but the way it's falling doesn't really seem like it. Security room! I didn't expect this building to actually have security on it. All right, Trevor must be in here then. Trevor, Trevs, Tree, my boy, uh, temperature. Okay, screwdriver required. Uh, I guess I had to mess with that eventually, but anyways, Trevor! Hey, you're here! You're not gonna kill me, are you? Really hope you're not. Please don't be what I think you are, Trevor. Okay, I'm here. Now what's this all about? Okay, listen. This is gonna seem weird. Crazy, even. But after what I saw, I really don't know how else to describe it. Jesus, Trevor, man, you look like you saw a ghost. What happened? I think I know, but I don't want to say it. Not until you've seen this first. Here, look. You see that monitor in there? Keep watching. Where is this? Dive storage? There it Wait is. Wait a minute. Who is that? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, they got Yeah, he gone. Yeah. Boom, bam. That's the host. He's now... He, there. He's the host of Alien now. It gotta be a he. Because if that was Rebecca, I'd have seen a dump truck. What the hell did we just see happen? Somebody just got attacked by something. Who and by what isn't exactly clear, as you can see from the video feed. But whoever it was, got back up and shook it off like it was nothing. Yeah, then it looks like they changed clothes and just left. You don't think whoever it was is still in the rec room with the others, do you? I don't think we can rule it out just yet. And just so I know we're on the same page, you agree. That was what it looked like, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we both just saw what looked like some kind of animal attack somebody, and then that somebody getting up and leaving like nothing happened. Right. Mm -hmm. I saw it, but I'm not sure I believe it. That's gonna have to be good enough, I guess. Here, take this. Wait, you're giving me your gun? Why? Don't worry. I keep a spare and some ammo in the security locker. I need you to have this, because you're the only one I can be sure is human right now. I could tell when you asked about the screams you heard in the rec room earlier. What do you mean, is human? I mean, between what you witnessed and what we just saw on the security monitors, somebody out there isn't who they say they are. You're telling me that someone in this facility isn't really a person? I don't think whoever was attacked is even alive anymore, Dean. Whatever that fucking thing was is now running around, pretending to be human, and nobody but you and me have any idea. Holy shit. What if there's more of these things? If that's what we're dealing with, then how are we supposed to know which one of us is really human? I don't have an answer for that yet. For now, keep that gun on you and look around for clues. Probably start in dive story. Maybe you can find something we missed in the video. This is nuts, Trevor. How can we be sure about this? I mean, fuck me, what if we're wrong? We'd be talking about taking innocent lives here. But what if we're right? You got a point. You got a point. You know we can't take that risk. Look, I need you on this one. Right now, it's you and me who got to protect the rest of our crew out there. 
We can't let word get around until we know for sure what we're dealing with. Mm. I'll head back to the rec room and cover for you. Find out whatever you can. And remember, not a word of this to anyone until we know who it was on that tape. Yeah. I got you. See, now I got the freaking gun. Ammo is infinite. Let's go. Don't got to worry about reloading this hoochie either. Let's freaking go. All right. So I can aim and shoot. Ooh. All right. All right. I got it. I got it. How do I get this out of the freaking way, though? I don't want this all up in my face the entire time. So y'all heard everything, right? Y'all y'all on the same page. There's an alien acting like they're the whole person, but it's not a person. We got to find out who, who it is, but we can't let everybody know. And I know for a fact, it ain't my baby girl, Rebecca. It can't be. That thick thing right there, I mean, sure, she can fit like 12 aliens in that back behind, but it's, it's not her. It can't be. You seen a person in the camera? Like, you seen them on the freaking monitor. It was a guy. Hello? Anybody here? Oh, boy, that's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood I'm seeing right there. They changed clothes. Hold on. Wait, how do I look at that? Press to examine. In a bloody wetsuit. Who did I see wearing a wetsuit with this pattern earlier? black and purple hold on ah i think i okay unless i'm tripping i could have sworn i actually did look at somebody's freaking black and purple suit so i think i know but i don't want to be stereotypical about the color pattern and stuff but i think i know we're gonna go back to the party because uh i'm pretty sure that person has to be at the party if this person not at the party cool cool but we're not gonna make a scene if they are, okay? We gotta stay calm and collected. This isn't the party. I I thought it was the party. This is clearly not the party. I gotta hurry up and go to the party. Hey. Uh. This is nice, people. Yeah, uh, who is this? Oh, Uma, never met you on a day of my life. So I know it's not you. Hey, y'all chilling? This party kinda stiff, to be honest. Y'all not even dancing, that's the crazy part. But you know, that's cool, that's whatever. Uh. Black and purple? Nah. Nah. Right? <laughs> nah. Nah. Who I thought was Ben 10? Hold on. Uh, I'm trying to remember. You know what? Hey. Steve, you got a minute? Oh, hey Dean. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to sleep right through the party. Say, you don't look very good. Are you sick or something? Uh, is everybody here? I'm fine, but listen, I think I might have heard someone scream earlier. Did you hear anyone? Nah, nah, nah. Now that you mentioned that, I do feel a little under the weather, no pun intended. So what's a guy gotta do to get a drink around here, huh? Is everybody here? Almost. Isabel insisted on watching over the project over in the lab. As smart as she is, I wish she'd realize a rarity in this situation. We rarely get this kind of opportunity. Doesn't seem to be a microscope known to man to get her to see that. Look. Why don't you try to enjoy the party? It's not every day the Institute signs our checks to kick back and relax. See, when things look a little too smooth, Steve, you gotta understand that that means there's a problem somewhere. They're just not talking about it. But anyways, I would, but I'm jamming out right now, and I'm finna go ahead and go talk to Isabella real quick, or Isabel, whatever her fucking name is. Don't worry. Don't worry about this pistol that I'm holding. Trust me, it's friendly. I swear it is. So, Isabel, I don't recall you wearing black and green. I kind of recall you wearing black and purple. The funny thing is, bud, uh, there's a dead body that happened on cam, and it was, turns out the suit was black and purple. And, uh, you, you're here instead of at the party. Kind of abnormal, if you ask me. So, uh, what's up with that? Isabel, can I bother you for a second? What do you need? I was sleeping, and I thought I heard a scream. You haven't noticed anything a little off. Everyone in the rec room riding out the storm. There's drinks and music there. I was just wondering, why aren't you at the party? No offense to your party, Dean, but I'd much rather be here. I know that's probably hard to understand, but I didn't just take this job because it pays exceedingly well. Now, you'll have to excuse me, Dean. The project requires my undivided attention. Sure, sure, I believe you. Now, if I'm wrong, fuck. But if I'm right, problem solved, I guess. Y'all ready? You ready? Huh! <laughs> Was that right? Uh... But I, I think I got her. Nah, I, I don't think I don't think it was her. <laughs> I don't think it was her. Fuck! I do not think it was her. Oh crap! Oh no no! Oh. All right. Well, at this point, shit! I thought it was her. Mmm. Ah. Who do I see wear black and purple? Who did I see wear black and? I swear it was her wearing black and purple. It wasn't her, but I guess it, I don't even know. Oh my God. Hey, you ready for this? 
I pull this trigger, one of two things is going to happen. Well, I see, we don't have much of a choice. Just be sure before you go popping off shots. Well, sorry to break it to you, but uh, ooh, I kind of did what I shouldn't have done. But dang, what if it's my baby girl Rebecca? Because I kind of remember her wearing black and purple. <laughs> I know, I know. Listen, when I start pulling this trigger, please don't look at me differently, okay? And if things go south and it's not her, everybody but me and you gotta get lit up. That's that's kind of the rule I'm going with at this point. God dang, it had to be her. It gotta be. Rebecca, baby girl, only talk to like four people. Rebecca, listen. Starting to think it's you, man. <laughs> like, I love you. And you think you with the cakey. And you, you were the last person I seen before I went to sleep and heard a scream, man. But I want to talk to you before I try. Hey, Rebecca, I have to ask you something. Oh, hey. What's up? Hey, man. How many drinks have you had? Ooh, party foul. Drinks aren't for counting. They're for drinking. Come on. What are you waiting for? Grab a drink and join the fun. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, baby girl, oh no. Please understand that this hurt me more than it hurts you. <laughs> hey, hey, relax, people, relax. It wasn't her, so it's fine. I think we're fine here, guys. Okay. The key. It I got looks like the kind that opens the lockers and dive storage. Could be useful. All right, listen. The party's not over. Let's all relax, okay? I may have a gun on me, and y'all may seem like y'all life is in danger, but it's not, okay? We're all safe, all right? All right. It was her! Ah! Get it away from me! Get it away from me! Get it! Did I get it? So I died, we were wrong after Rebecca, and I don't know where to go from here. All right, everybody, listen up. This party's gonna get wrecking, okay? I'm starting to know who it is that's not supposed to be here. Watch and learn as I whip out this gun that I have and aim it at this new girl that I've never spoken to. This girl right here. Yeah, you. Ah, oh, it's, 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 look at that, look at that thing. Uh. Get away from it! Get away from it! Look at that thing! How am I still shooting it when I'm just like shooting everywhere? I'm not even like aiming at that thing. Uh, look at that thing! Disturbing! Fuck it up! I'm trying my best. I don't know how I'm able to kill this thing while I'm not even looking at it, but hey, you know what? It's working. Look at that health. Fucking that arrow. Uh, yep. Oh! Uh, you know me? Ooh! Oh! Well, I mean, I was the only one shooting, even though you say you had another gun. But, you know, I'm not going to talk about that, I guess. Whatever. What do you want to do now, Trevor? Well, I'd say that went as well as could be expected. You think? Man, they got a way up through the ceiling panels. Who knows where it could be right now? Shit, if bullets don't kill this thing. What the fuck kind of options does that leave us with? Well, you know, not true shooting. It made it reveal its true form, so there's that. I could tell I heard it a little. Okay. You got a point. I guess it's just a matter of finding it again, finishing the job. Tough SOB, I guess. Okay, look, forget all that for right now. We need to think of what our next move is. Maybe something in the lab could... Oh, fuck! Isabel's in the lab all by herself. She has no idea what just happened here. Well, Isabel kinda no longer alive. Unless, you know, we went back in time and everything straight. Rebecca, baby girl, listen, in another life, I did something that I regretted, but now I'm happy that I didn't do it in this life. I love you, and remember, that thick shit is for me. To the lab. To the lab. Where I hope she's still alive, maybe. Probably. Possibly. Oh, you're here. Oh, in another life, you, you kind of got gunned down. I don't know who did it. Just know that it happened, okay? Isabel, we need to talk. Uh, this had better be an emergency. Oh. A very serious problem. I don't know if you're willing to believe this, but a member of the crew was killed by some kind of creature. The creature then went on to disguise itself as human. Son of a bitch. I knew it. Eh? 
How did you know it? You're taking this news better than they anticipated. Wait, what the hell do you mean you knew it? Yeah. I mean, I had a feeling. I figured it couldn't have gotten too far. Allow me to explain. You see, the project we've been focusing on recently, it started out with mollusks and sea snails, until we discovered what we thought initially was a completely new species. A small green <laughs> slug me. with yellow spotted patterns along its sides. Nothing about it seemed particularly noteworthy until one day, we discovered its more fascinating attributes. Shape-shifting. Uh. You gotta be shitting me right now. No, I'm quite serious. We placed the specimen in a terrarium alongside other species. We were shocked to find as the amount of new species would seem to disappear, more of the more common species would proportionally be present. We found that... No, not the fact that it can shapeshift. I mean, you can't possibly mean to tell me that thing that's out there picking off the crew is some aquatic slug. I've seen it on video, partially at least, and I can tell you it was no slug. This thing had legs. That's what I was getting to. We found that not only could it mimic other species at a cellular level, but in ingesting other organisms, it seemed to rapidly evolve. In many cases, acquiring attributes derivative of its prey. So you're saying this little sea slug can mimic its way up the food chain and become just like whatever it eats? I'm saying it doesn't end there. Just because it consumes an organism doesn't mean it's restricted to just taking the same form and aping its skill set. The creatures have demonstrated the capability to reassign organic matter into completely different new tissue. If left to its own devices, we found that they could produce rudimentary venom sacs, crude wings have formed, acidic saliva glands, and even initial cranial telemetric systems. We've witnessed these things move things without touching them. Ah. Fuck me, now you're telling me these things are telepathic? No, I'm saying they could be if the conditions were met and the evolutionary demand was concentrated enough. Essentially, they're the perfect adaptive organic machines. Oh my god. Honestly. Not god, Dean. Science. Yeah? Well, one of your little science experiments is running amok and taking people's lives. Relax. There are procedures in place for this kind of situation. The Institute can fly a containment squad out here by daybreak. The storm complicates things, but I'm sure they can manage for a high-level emergency like this. Are you hearing me right now? At least one of these things is out there right now, killing people and posing in their skins as replacements. Right now, we have no way of telling who's really human. Yes, we do. I can run a test that will prove definitively Among Us who is genuinely human, but I'm going to need Among Us. of everyone's blood. Here, take these empty needles. Collect a sample from all the remaining crew members and bring them back to me. But hurry. If we wait too long, all the cells will have already assimilated and we will have missed our chance. If we examine everyone's blood quickly, we can spot the predatory cells still in the act of fusing with the host's native blood cells. That's how we'll find out who's really one of us. Sounds risky. I'd have to get pretty close to someone to extract their blood. But if this will prove definitively the identity of the creature, then it's worth the risk. Just don't get too close. The creature's awareness is greater as it jumps from host to host. It'll learn your behaviors and adapt to it. That's what it does. Be careful. All right, all right, I understand. So here's what I know for a fact. Whoa, damn it, don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to. What are you doing out here in a storm like this? Everyone in the rec room is scared to be around each other, so they all scatter to different buildings. Fuck! I came out here to try and talk some sense into it. Ugh, you shouldn't be doing that, Trev. It's really not a smart idea to be out on your own right now. You out here by yourself, too. At least I think you are. You ain't got any creepy crawlers shawl shanking their way through your guts telling you to kill me right now. Right? My guess is that if I did, I wouldn't be so inclined to tell you about it, would I? Nah, I'd guess you wouldn't. So I suppose there ain't much point in asking. Been a while since you ran off to check on Isabel. Anything you want to cop to? Actually, there is something. There's a helicopter being dispatched to come pick us up. Real pros. G-men, I guess. You know the type. Top-level operatives who know how to clean up a mess like this. Finally, some good news. So now what? We just hang tight till they get here? Not quite. We can't risk taking someone back with us who might be infected with the creature. 
Isabel's got a blood test she's putting together, but I need to get a sample from everyone on deck so we can make sure we're all clean. And this test is guaranteed? No chance of a false positive, is there? You'd have to ask Isabel about that. All I know is that if I don't get the samples under the microscope as quick as possible, the blood from the creature is going to be impossible to distinguish from the blood of any of us. Oh, hell, man. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Hurry up and get the samples before we run out of time and have to go back to the spray and pray technique. That's what I came up here to do. Head inside the lab and wait with Isabel. When I get back with the samples, we'll find out if anyone's not on the up and up. Then we'll just have to make it until the chopper gets here. Well, fuck. I kind of want... Uh, God dang it. Okay, I wanted to get his sample because since you was already here, I wanted to make sure that you didn't switch up on us because, you know, keep your friends close but keep your enemies closer. Who's in this bathroom? Anybody? Up. Up. Let me get a sample from you. How do I get a sample? Okay, Sean, here's the story. Since nobody knows which one of us is the monster, I'm going around taking blood samples. Isabel's got a test ready in the lab that can answer our little identity crisis. To that end, I'm gonna need a contribution. My blood? Or, uh, is the test gonna pick up any, uh, any other things? Relax, we're just looking for signs of the creature. Nobody's interested in what you do in your free time. I'm in kind of a rush, so would you mind? Oh no, yeah, that's fine, that's okay. Uh, you know what? Why don't you let me handle this for you? I, uh, kinda know my way around these things pretty well. Phew, there we are. Boy, that takes me back. Better days I can tell you that much. Sure, okay, cool, whatever. I'll be right back. Well, don't be suspicious, I guess. I'm back with the sample, and let me tell you, Dean, you scared the heebie-dibbie out of me. I'm not gonna lie to you, okay? You kinda scared me. You! I got the sample. What's up now? So, this test of yours, can we fully count on it? Is there any chance of an error? Tell me now or consider the blood on your hands. So long as you get the samples under the microscope before every single invasive predatory cell has fully assimilated, you'll notice an obvious difference. And it better be obvious. Don't think you're in the clear just yet, Professor, as far as I'm concerned. We all need to pass the test like our life depends on it. Because it does. Mm. I'd expect nothing less. Here. You'll be needing a sample of my blood as well. All right, that should do it. Put it under the microscope and see for yourself. I'm human. All right, all right, cool, cool. Now I got two blood samples. Let's go. Uh, Dean, Isabel, Sean, Trevor. No sample. Okay, so I only got the sample of... Sean, Isabel, and myself, so I guess, how I, oh, all right, all right, you're good, you're Gucci, you seem to be fine, you seem to be Gucci, cool, 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 Sean, show me Sean real quick, I want to see what he got rocking, uh-huh, yep, yep, so Sean and Isabel is Gucci, and I'm Dean, okay, and that's Trevor, so I got the wrong thing, all right, cool, all right, you're good, you're good, Trevor, Buddy, I'm gonna need that sample since you're here. All right, Trev, your turn. Just need a little sample of your blood and we can all know for a fact what you and I already know. Okay, man, just make it quick. And let's be done with all this. Okay, you're just gonna feel a little pinch here. Man, I've gotten shots before, just do it already. There, see, no big deal. All right, I mean, at least you're manly enough about it. Now let's check this man too. All right, Trevor, I wanna make sure. Uh, uh! Uh-uh! Trevor! You lying! I trusted you! I trusted him! I trusted you! You had my trust and you lied! Why? Why, Trevor? Why? Why you lied? Oh my god, get him out of here! Get him the fuck out of here! How is he still walking like this? Squeeze the Trevor! I'm targeting him, but I can't. Why? He's not. Sh I can't. I can't. Why aren't. I, I'm trying. I'm really trying. That's crazy. What did I say? What did I say? That man. Oh my god, bruh. You seen that shit? You seen it? Isabel, what the hell happened to the microscope? How are we supposed to figure out the shapeshifter's identity now? Calm down. There must be another way. The creature has a high tolerance for extreme temperatures. If you were to be able to manipulate the air conditioning units, maybe you could get the temperature low enough to trigger a reaction. What kind of reaction? Would cold temperature force this thing to reveal itself? I wouldn't say that. 
I was thinking maybe more along the lines of condensation. A human's breath becomes visible in low temperatures due to the air we exhale being warmed by our bodies. The creatures are cold-blooded, so... Mm. So anybody whose breath I can't see in cold temperatures is probably the creature in disguise. Bet. Don't even worry about it. Well, since you're talking like that, let me go ahead and... Ah, oh, screwdriver. I forgot about that. Where am I going to find a goddamn screwdriver? Ah, oh, crap. Wait, equipment room. Ah, oh, God, let's go. There got to be tools somewhere. Yes. Screwdriver. Yes. Uh-huh. This is what I need. Grab it. Why am I just staring at this thing like I'm coked out? Thank you. Now, where is a freaking... I got to find a... Oh, no. Thomas, my balls, bro. I don't... Thomas, man, listen. Let me go ahead and walk past you. I don't like the way you're doing that. Let me go ahead and, uh... Yeah. Let me let me turn this down real quick. Press... Facebook. Use a screwdriver. Uh-huh. Uh... How do I... Am I doing it? Okay, cool, cool. I did it. That's loud. All right. All right. Well, now it's starting to get there. Let me go ahead and squeeze. All right, so you're human. You're human. We're Gucci. Next, we're going to hit this bathroom because uh, we're going building the building. We're not just going to go, like, randomly. We got to make sure everything is under where we need it to be. Yeah, let's go ahead and lock that thing down because, hey, that man tried to sit here and play normal. He would have got me, too. If I was dumb enough, he would have got me. Yeah, let's turn that up real quick. Hey, anybody in here? Anybody? You still in here, bro? Am I, uh, yeah, I'm seeing it. Okay, yeah, you're good. You're Gucci. You're, you're fine. You're fine. Listen, doc, me and you may be cool and safe. You may have gave me that information, but I still got to turn it down in this hoochie coochie just in case the alien decide to come in here. Hey, uh, I'm not seeing no, uh, no breathing from you. What's up with that? You're not, I don't, I don't see no breathing from you, you know? I should have freaking known, bro. Oh my gosh. I should have known. I was like, what the fuck? There's no breathing from me. I mean, oh, 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 oh my god, oh my god, oh, keep away, get, fuck it up, did I get it? Is it finally dead? Is it? Looks like it. Oh my god. I think I hear something outside. You hear something outside? We survived? That was it? We really did it? Nah, ain't no freaking way. Ain't no freaking way. Bruh, ain't no way. Come on, hold on. Where my baby girl? I gotta find my baby girl, Rebecca. No, I can't go in there. Rebecca! Uh, Rebecca! Rebecca! Becca! Becky! Re! Re, re! Never mind, take that back. Rebecca! Baby girl, we did it. We survived together, me and you. I told you that cake would be mine, and I wanted to make sure. Uh, who knew what the two closest people? You know what? Now that I think about it, that kind of make more sense than it should have. Uh, that it? Well, my baby girl, Rebecca. Ain't no way. But we gotta go get back Rebecca. Bro, Rebecca, no. Did I at least get to see everybody else that survived? Because saved a bunch of lives. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a hero. I mean, first time wasn't really like a hero thing. It was more of a guess and shoot. But yeah, I mean, I got this time. I put so much effort into keeping my baby girl alive. And you telling me I'm not gonna be able to hit that? Like, girl had the thong ka thong Ka-thong-ka-thong. Huh? Ah, oh, I should have freaking known.